Hello Aries and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach. I help you choose growth and the healing of your inner roots. I have an intuitive message for you today. This message will look inside at your inner world, outside at your outer world, and the interaction and the flow between them. So we're going to go right to left with the cards. We have loss on the outside, five of cups, scarcity, five of pentacles on the inside, three of, goodness gracious, Aries, three of swords, mourning on the inside, and then joy on the outside. Thank goodness. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, we're going to start on the outside. The guide's just corrected. Five of Cups and Joy. And you notice we're going in opposite directions. So Aries, there are relationships and connections in your outside world that it's time to to really make that cut, okay? You're starting to see that there's nothing sustaining in your relationships with these people, or perhaps they're not in the best place and they need some space. But there is going to be a temptation to grieve the loss of these relationships. This raccoon is literally crying over spilt milk, okay? Every relationship comes in for a season a reason or a lifetime. And it's one of those things where time will only tell us which relationship is which. I think there are rare occurrences where you just know, okay, this one is for a lifetime or no. I kind of feel like this one's probably for a season, but most of the time we just have to let them unfold. And there's also a sense that when it's time, you'll feel it. But the difficult thing is because it's emotional, we get attached and it's really hard to kind of draw that boundary. Now, when it's time to walk away, that raccoon, instead of worrying about what was lost, needs to look at what's still there. The relationships that are still intact, those important relationships that are sustaining. Um, it's very, very understandable to want to grieve the loss of an important relationship or an important connection. Um, but this will not serve you in the long run. And what's really exciting to me is that you have joy in front of you. You have a joyful relationship, a new relationship, a new start. And this might also be just you coming back to yourself because part of you was lost in this relationship with someone else. And all of a sudden, you have this freedom and this new sense of self that you're feeling, a new confidence, and just a new lightness, that when you look away from those old relationships, that it's time for them to close, you actually do feel a sense of lightness. And you may feel a little guilt with that, but actually it's okay. You don't You don't have to feel guilt because this is about self-love. Every relationship is about self-love. We learn how to love ourselves through relationships with others. It gets complicated. But if something makes you feel good about yourself, it's never anything to be guilty of. Let's look at here. Now, this is all fear-based cards. Mourning a loss and scarcity. If I let go, there won't be anything left. If I leave these people behind, I have no one. Okay, it's that kind of mentality. And really interesting because five of cups mourns the loss of three cups. We have three spilled cups. We've got the three of swords. So this could literally be three people we're talking about. But it's the idea of um, it's okay to mourn. It's okay to give yourself the time. But I want you to understand that right now your mourning is not coming out of grief. For yourself, it's coming out of fear. Fear that there will not be anyone left. That if you cut them out, then what's this going to do? No one's going to be there. Be like these moose in the winter that can't find food. But again, you have a message of hope. 
There is nourishment under here. These other people can't find you or they can't step forward towards you because your energy is being sucked by this other energy, this other relationship that's no longer really working for you or for the other person, okay? So this is about being okay with, with pushing these forward, with allowing these to, to fall, but knowing exactly where your feelings are coming from, Aries. Okay, now, they were very specific, my guides were very specific about drawing two cards of advice. Blessed Abundance, Mother of Feathers, and the Empress, also a mother of figure. You are being watched over, you are being nourished, and you are being sent the love, the appreciation, and the companionship that you desire. There's all sorts of relationships going on in this card. You've got the two bunnies, you've got a mother-child relationship here, and you've got the solitary protected deer, the inner self in the background. You are being blessed. You are being sent exactly what you're looking for and exactly what you desire, but you have got to get out of this fear mindset, the fear that there's no one there. These cards are saying, absolutely, there are people here. There's lots of things here for you. There's everything you need. But if you continue to be in this energy of fear, then you will be like this raccoon on the ground trying to recover spilt water instead of this happy bird running on the water. Light, light and happy in their hearts, so light they can run on the water. So shifting, shifting out of that fear, trusting, trusting yourself, trusting this timing, trusting everything that you're getting, okay? Fear is temporary. Fear is a choice and it's not reality. Love and the flow and the unflowering and unfolding of yourself, that's truth. Fear is not truth, okay? So when you find yourself thinking thoughts out of fear, just be aware that that's not your truth and that's not your heart speaking, that's something else. All right, Aries, thanks so much for joining me. I always look forward to your readings every week. If you are curious to learn more about me, what I do, and how else I can help you, please check out the description below, and I will look forward to seeing you next time right here.